Tourism grew by an estimated 7% to 28.7 million visits, much higher than the projected 45%. This performance was above the global rate of growth, which the UN agency, the World Tourism Organization, quotes at 4.4%. In that period, visitors spent over a billion dollars more than they did in 2014, contributing approximately $30 billion to Caribbean economies. That's 4.2% higher than the $28.8 billion spent during the previous year. So 2015 was the second year in a row that the region has done better than the rest of the world, and the sixth consecutive year of growth for the Caribbean. This solid performance by the Caribbean was based on several factors, not least of which was the sustained demand from major source markets. The region benefited from a rise in consumer confidence in the United States, where a strong dollar encouraged outbound travel among Americans. Other factors include increased air capacity and persistent marketing by many Caribbean destinations and resorts flying for business in the United States. Consequently, travel from the U.S. grew an impressive 6.3% to 14.3 million visitors accounting for approximately 50% of all arrivals. The Canadian market continued to be resilient with a 4.5% increase in 2015, although its share of total arrivals dropped marginally from 12.1% to 11.8%, with 3.4 million Canadians coming to the Caribbean. The European market made significant gains in 2015, recording its best performance in seven years. For the first time since 2008, total arrivals from Europe reached the 5 million mark, a rise of 4.2%, 4.2% compared to 2014. The UK was one of the dominant performers, growing by a healthy 10.4% to 1.1 million visitors. Arrivals from Germany, recorded an even better 11.5% rise, while France was relatively flat, increasing by 0.8%.